Once you view the video and read the information, you will be able to recognize and draw a trapezoid, know identifying properties of a trapezoid, understand and use the terms base, legs, and altitude in connection with trapezoids, and identify and name the characteristics of five special trapezoids, isosceles, scalene, right, obtuse, and acute trapezoids. Let's get started. To begin, you need a triangle. Any triangle will do. Right, obtuse, isosceles, scalene. Slice off the top of the triangle so the cut is parallel to the bottom of the triangle. You now have a tinier triangle and a trapezoid. What exactly is a trapezoid? A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. A trapezoid is a plain figure, flat. A closed figure, it has an interior and an exterior. A polygon, straight sides. And a quadrilateral, four straight sides. Because the definition only requires one pair of parallel sides, the other two sides can be arranged in many ways, creating four interior angles that will always add up to 360 degrees. Now let's draw or make a trapezoid. We already know a trapezoid is like the bottom part of a triangle, if you cut off a smaller triangle from it. You can also make a trapezoid from four line segments or four straight objects using anything you like, like uncooked spaghetti, pencils, lollipop sticks, whatever you have handy. The four straight linear objects can be four different lengths or three different lengths. Two of them could be the same. Lay two of the objects down or draw two line segments so they are parallel, equidistant. Make them horizontal to you. Put the other two objects on the left and right of these two or draw them in so all eight endpoints touch. There you have it, a trapezoid. The horizontal parts are the bases. The last two pieces you drew or put down at the left and right ends are called the trapezoid's legs. Notice we did not worry about any of the interior angles, since keeping two sides parallel forces the rest of the trapezoid to fall into place. The angles sort themselves out and add to 360 degrees. Next, we'll look at how to recognize a trapezoid. Usually, to be as clear as possible, pictures and drawings of trapezoids show the two parallel sides running horizontally, with the longer side down as the base. Be prepared, though to see trapezoids in any orientation. A trapezoid can be drawn or pictured with either leg at the bottom or with the shorter parallel side at the bottom. Because the parallel sides are the only ones that can be bases, even when the trapezoid is drawn with a leg at the bottom and horizontal, it is not a base. It is still a leg. The base is usually the longer parallel side. But if the trapezoid is drawn with the shorter parallel side at the bottom, then it is the base. The altitude of a trapezoid is its height. Do not be fooled by the sloping legs. If they slope, they are longer than the height. Altitude is always measured from the base, either parallel side, to the other side at a right angle to the base. You can draw a perpendicular line anywhere along the base of the trapezoid, and when it touches the opposite parallel side, its length is the altitude. Let's take a look at the identifying properties of a trapezoid. You can identify any trapezoid if it is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Many mathematicians include parallelograms as types of trapezoids because, of course, a parallelogram has at least one pair of parallel sides. Other mathematicians exclude parallelograms, saying a trapezoid must have exactly one pair of parallel sides. Another identifying property of all trapezoids is that any two adjacent interior angles will be supplementary, add to 180 degrees. Since trapezoids can begin life as triangles, they share names derived from the kinds of triangles. First, we have a scalene trapezoid, which started out as a scalene triangle. Second, we have an isosceles trapezoid, which began as an isosceles triangle. Next, we have a right trapezoid, which once was a right triangle. Fourth, we have an obtuse trapezoid, which is like an obtuse triangle. And last, we have an acute trapezoid, which is like an acute triangle. Let's go over each one. 
A scalene trapezoid has four sides of unequal length. The bases are parallel, but of different lengths. The two legs are of different lengths. An isosceles trapezoid has legs of equal length. The bases are parallel, but of different lengths. A right trapezoid has one right angle, 90 degrees, between either base and a leg. An obtuse trapezoid has one interior angle, created by either base and a leg, greater than 90 degrees. An acute trapezoid has both interior angles, created by the longer base and legs, measuring less than 90 degrees. In this lesson, using just four lines and four interior angles, we have constructed a trapezoid. Learn what makes a trapezoid unique, a pair of parallel sides, what the various parts of the trapezoid are, and the names of five special trapezoids.